Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Everyone loves the Three Gorges Dam. At 8 a.m. local time on August 24, the water level of the Three Gorges Dam was 155.57 meters. Compared to the 12th of this month, the water level has dropped by about 3 meters. Last year, the water level was around 145 meters, so this year it is 10 meters higher. Looking at this dam from the reservoir side, the water level is around here. At 8 a.m., the discharge of the Three Gorges Dam was 21,700 cubic meters per second. The maximum discharge of hydroelectric power from this dam is about 31,000 cubic meters per second, so isn't it about 70% power generation? It's a simple calculation, but it means that about 22 turbines for power generation are in operation. According to data from the Hunan Provincial Watergate Administration, changes in the inflow and outflow of the Three Gorges Dam this month are as follows. The black line is the outflow, the green is the inflow, and the blue line is the dam level. As you can see, they have maintained a high release pattern throughout the day, but most recently they have increased the release rate. Their increased discharge has lowered the water level at the dam, even though the inflow of the green line has decreased. As reported on this channel, the water level of the dam this year continues to be higher than usual. So you would think they would want the dam to be lowered sooner rather than later. We speculate on another intent as well. Have a look at this. This graph extracts only the amount of discharge from the Three Gorges Dam last year. At the Three Gorges Dam, there is a routine every summer in which all water wheels are turned 100% to generate full power. The unnatural portion here has a discharge rate of 31,000 cubic meters per second, the amount of water required at maximum designed power output for the Three Gorges Dam. As such, they temporarily have full power generation. Let's go back to our current graph. Perhaps in the future they will gradually increase the discharge to 31,000 cubic meters per second, I guess. Nishi Yang Channel Here is the state of rain clouds for the last 12 hours. No noticeable rain clouds are seen near Yichang City where the Three Gorges Dam is located. However, things change completely around the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. Clouds are moving in one after another from the west, and this is a normal movement, and this pattern is a sign of heavy rain. This year, due to the decrease in El Nino, the flow of clouds was often different than usual. Keep an eye on the upcoming weather. The Three Gorges Dam has multiple important roles, flood control, power generation, and shipping. On the other hand, there are many problems such as sedimentation problems, environmental destruction, rapid climate change, cracks, and ever-increasing garbage problems. They choose the best water level in terms of hydroelectric power generation, ship operation and irrigation water, and insist that it is safe at all times. Is it true? In particular, I have doubts about the recent water level situation. The annual monthly precipitation around the Three Gorges Dam is as follows. It's the end of August. Statistically, the amount of rain will gradually decrease. As far as this channel investigated, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam seems to be around the red frame. Let's take a look at Windy's predictions for the week ahead. Heavy rain clouds will spread around and upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. This may increase the inflow to the dam. In some cases, heavy rains may cause extensive flooding. After that, it seems that the Yangtze River Basin will continue to be sunny for a while. On the other hand, a typhoon is forming in the south and is expected to approach the coast of China. Many typhoons pass through China this year, causing extensive damage. In addition to this channel, I also run a YouTube channel that introduces Japanese dams. The channel has already surpassed 1100 subscribers sharing the charm of the sophisticated and beautiful dam. The URL is listed in the summary column, so if you are interested, please check it out. As you may know, there are not many earthquakes around the Three Gorges Dam. It is possible that this was also taken into consideration when constructing the dam. 
but upstream of the dam, and tributaries of the Yangtze River, it's a different story. In particular, Sichuan Province is an earthquake-prone area, and in 2008 the Sichuan Great Earthquake occurred. Nearly 70,000 people were killed and about 20,000 people were missing. Earthquakes can cause landslides and create dammed lakes. If it collapses all at once, secondary disasters will occur in downstream areas. In addition, many huge dams have already been built on the steep land upstream. They are located near earthquake-prone zones. Don't just focus on the Three Gorges Dam. We should also look upstream. Based on these things, I also tell you the latest earthquake information. Medium and small ship lifts are installed in the dam. The Three Gorges Dam has routes for medium-sized and small boats. This is installed just north of the dam body, and it is always in the picture that the water level information seems to have accumulated up to this point. This is an elevator system, not a pool system. A method in which one ship enters the gate and goes up and down. This is a short time, and it seems that you can go up and down in about 40 minutes. It may look small in the photo, but if you line up the photos that the ship passes through, you can see that it is a big one. Even though it is a medium-sized ship, it can be used for even large ships that can carry manufactured cars. This is a video that summarizes information about the Three Gorges Dam, and is a popular video that has been viewed more than 150,000 times. The URL is posted in the summary column, so please enjoy it. The rainy season has come to an end. It will rain more from now on. In 2020, heavy rains and floods continued, and there was concern that the dam might collapse. Conversely, there was a drought last year, and the water shortage continues this year as well. This year, the Chinese meteorological authorities have already announced the possibility of extreme weather and high temperatures. Please continue to subscribe to our channel for the latest information.